Hola amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy and today I want to show you a really simple recipe that we don't cook enough of. And why don't we do it enough? Because we use too much of these things. Stock pots, stock cubes, you name it. Even top chefs now they are sponsoring it in the television. And you know, I understand it's really convenient, they taste good, I'm not gonna mock them in any way, and particularly when you're short of time. But if you want to achieve maximum flavor, as well as being 100% natural and knowing what it goes into it, there is no other way around it than to making your own stocks, whether it's fish stock, chicken stock, beef stock, lamb stock, pork stock, you name it, or vegetable stock. I think that's kind of the, the basic six, I would say. And um, the reality is a lot of people ask me in the restaurant why, you know, when I cook the recipes at home, you know, they just don't have the same flavor as in the restaurants and so on. And the reality is, you know, one of the answers that I most commonly give is stocks. Do your own stock and you will see through the entire dish that carries a lot more flavor generally and, uh, and any sauce, any soup, anything you add it to, it becomes terrific and in our case, Spanish cuisine, you know, it's kind of the very base of making really good paellas. If you don't have a good stock, forget it. So if you want to bring your dishes to the next level, make sure you make your own stock like today, chicken stock. So let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need carcass, wings, and the chunks of uh, chicken, a bay leaf, a clove, peppercorns, a bit of salt. In this case, I use some smoked salt to give it a bit more flavor. Some extra virgin olive oil, fresh thyme, parsley, rosemary, garlic, carrot, celery, onion, tomato, and brandy. We're going to start by peeling the carrots and cutting them into about one centimeter thick slices. Do exactly the same with the celery stalks. And if it has too many leaves, keep them aside. We will add them later with the rest of the herbs. Otherwise they will burn in the roasting tray. Cut your Spanish onion into wedges. You can leave the skin on and do the same with the tomatoes. Place all of the ingredients together with the whole cloves of garlic with the skin on and place the bits of chicken, the carcass, the tips and the wings uh, over it. Drizzle with a good amount of extra virgin olive oil and we're going to roast it at 210 degrees Celsius, stirring every 15 minutes or about that time for about 45 minutes or until they are quite dark brown. We want to extract a lot of flavor. Remember, this is not a light chicken stocking where you would just boil the ingredients to create a broth. We want to extract as much flavor out of these ingredients as possible. So, remove all the ingredients from the tray and place inside a large pot and place the roasting tray on top of the burner over high heat and flambe with the brandy, as you've seen, and uh, help yourself with a lighter if you need to and uh, extinguish the fire with a little bit of water and deglaze the bottom of the pan. We want all those caramelization and all those burn bits that has stick to the tray to deglaze and go into the pot. And then put the water and the remaining water inside the pot and add the herbs and the spices and bring it all to the boil. Let it simmer for about two hours and a stray with, uh, with help of a colander first and then pass it a second time uh, through a fine mesh, a fine sieve, so that it becomes a nice and clean chicken stock. My recommendation is that you put it straight into Kilner jars or into airtight containers and as well in case you had any doubts it freezes really well. So just put it into smaller containers and maybe it helps you use it more efficiently in some of your dishes. Didn't I say it was going to be easy? How easy was that? A few ingredients in a roasting tray and then let them simmer in a pot with water. 
take a look at how rich it has become, really dark brown. And what I can tell you is that if we were to reduce this down, it would become a sauce in its own right, a demi-glass, just that it's made with chicken as opposed to with beef. All it's left to do is cool it down, put it in the fridge, and tomorrow morning, with the help of a tablespoon, just scoop out the top, which is a little layer of fat that it's really easy to remove once it's cold and when you skim the broth in the pot. Because we've done such a small amount, I don't like to waste too much of the liquid and the juice. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I am telling you, it will really transform a lot of your dishes. They will taste restaurant quality. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you try it. Please subscribe and see you again soon. Thanks very much. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.